Well, now that the snow is finally here, there are some things that you can and cannot do that you might not realize can get you a ticket or even worse. Two on your sides, Jackie Roberts explains new at 11. It's snowy days like today that make the simplest tasks like driving to work a bit more challenging. And there are some rules you might not know about that could potentially get you a fine or ticket during the winter. Take cleaning off your car, for example. If your vehicle is covered in snow or ice, that could catch the attention of a police officer. And you are looking at traffic tickets, numerous traffic tickets, depending on, you know, if your headlights are covered, that means you're getting a ticket for that. Brake lights are covered, ticket for that. You know, any sort of windshield issue, obstruction of view. And not only that, but the big one is the snow on the roof or snow that's going to come off of your car. And the penalty can vary based on the severity and in some cases, even the vehicle. And if the snow comes off a tractor trailer, hits a vehicle and hurts or injures or kills anyone in the following vehicle, you're looking at a penal law charge, which is a lot different from a traffic ticket. You could serve not only uh, you know, with a fine, but also jail time. Now, what about if you want to start your car to let it defrost before you get on the road? Trooper O'Callaghan says that could be a problem too, depending on where you're parked. There's a good chance that your vehicle could be stolen or at least broke into of some sort of malfunction, but it is illegal to let your car run sitting at any public highway. So ultimately what it comes down to is you could do that in your driveway, but not really on the roadway. When it comes to shoveling snow, different cities and towns have different rules. So you'll have to check depending on where you live because failure to remove the snow on the sidewalk in front of your property in certain communities could cost you. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.